as you can see whenever you hand plane this green wood it really planes it's 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 very easy that just the shavings fly right off it's so much easier than uh hand planing air or kiln dried woods you can see full length shavings coming off this sycamore and this is a hardwood sycamore is a hardwood and it just it's fun to do when you when you when you have a hand plane that's sharpened up like this old jointer plane here and it just sailed right through this wood what i like to do is i like to flatten the bottom of these because i like to carve from the bark side in for the bowl you can do either way that's just the way i like to do it but uh that way i got a good reference to work off of a flat surface i'll have to go back again when this bowl's dried and probably hit this a few more times with the plane just to make sure it's good and flat but uh set this aside now before we move on with our bowl this is something i gotta do real fast here and uh this right here is called a swan neck gouge i believe is what he calls it this comes from nick westerman over in uh, Europe, I'm not, I'm not really sure. I can't remember what part of Europe he's in. I bought that about a year ago and I'm just now getting around to using it. But I got that and I got the, uh, the Tuca can, if I said that right, and I put a handle on it yesterday and I put a little stain on it and I'll try to show it in this video as well. I got it ready to go. But uh, these tools come without handles. You have to put a handle on them, but it's no big deal. But I'm no, I got a little piece of walnut picked out and I'm gonna carve it up here real fast. and. Uh, put the handle on it and we'll get this thing going as you can see this thing is razor sharp and this is for the bowl to carve and i want to have both of these ready when i start carving the middle of this bowl out the way i can use both of them so let's get this handle put on here and then we'll get back to making this bowl Well, the handle's done, and what I did back here on the back of it is I rounded over this end grain because this chisel is not designed to be hit with a mallet. It's only meant to be used with hand pressure. So when you're pointing into, uh, pushing into the back of this thing, you want something pretty comfortable for your palm to rest on. But only thing left to do now is put some boiled linseed oil here on the handle, or I might use some walnut oil, I'm not sure yet. And I'll get some epoxy, and we will glue the tool down into the hole here that we've bored. It's got a little ferrule as well that will be fitting on the top of it. But just a little mock up here. It looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It'll look really good once we get it set in there and get this walnut here oiled up a little. one done I put it aside for drying and here's the other one I spoke about earlier this is the Tuca cam a Twica cam TWCA cam is how they say that I don't want to pronounce it right or not but uh as you can see it's just a big bent knife right there with a really sharp edge on it or a curved knife and this is for hollowing out bowls and spoons doing that motion right there and I put a pretty large handle on it so I get a lot of torque with it and uh, this handle 
is made out of ash. Ash is pretty plain and simple. So I put a little walnut stain on it there this morning to give it a little bit of a better look to it. And I also did a little bit of a, a little carving with my V-tool. It's hard to tell in here. It's cloudy today and the lighting is awful. Let me change the setting on this camera. I like to carve up these handles a little bit with my V gouge. Gives a little bit of character rather than just being just a plain old handle. But anyways, uh, we got both of these done and they'll be set up for the evening to dry. Well, we got the bowl and the vise here and this is the top. We'll be carving that into. I want to get this bark off of here so we can make, do our layout lines for the bowl. And then once again, using a draw knife, this is another John Neiman draw knife. This is the other one I used was the log peeling knife. Has a little bit of an art to it. This right here is the chair maker's knife designed by Greg Pennington. He's down in uh, close to Nashville, Tennessee, not too far from here. 